React Native provides features at various levels to target the different platforms and that is what we will look at in this tutorial. So let's go. Right now we have a bare bones React Native application with nothing but a blank view shown on screen on Android as well as iOS. The most powerful way to target the different platforms and I believe perhaps a bit too powerful is to use platform specific file extensions. As an example, we can create a file specific for iOS with the file extension .iOS.tsx. Now the contents of the platform files can be whatever you want them to be. Just as an example, we will export a simple screen component that renders a simple piece of text on screen. Now whenever you create a platform specific file, you want to create one for all of the different platforms that you are targeting. So we will duplicate this file into a new file called screen.android.tsx because that is another platform that we want to target. Now it's up to you to make sure that the exports that you have from this particular file are the same as the export from the other platform files because the consumer is actually going to only import screen and it's up to React Native to resolve it to .ios.tsx or .android.tsx based on the platform that it is building. Beyond that, you can have whatever implementation that you want to have and just to demonstrate that, let's modify the text to say hello Android. Now with the platform implementations of the screen component out of the way, we can use them anyway within our code base, for example within the app component. And in order to do that, we will only import screen from dot screen. Now if you were using raw JavaScript, we would be done at this point because JavaScript does not care about type safety. But for TypeScript, to ensure that the screen is used in a specific fashion, we have to resolve it to a specific file so that that can be the source of type truth. Now there are lots of ways to do this but an easy one is to actually simply rename one of the platform files without the platform extension so that that becomes the default import that is also understood by TypeScript and for the other platforms their platform files will get imported by React Native anyways. And with this change in place the TypeScript compiler is happy and if you look at the devices the different platforms show the different platform specific screen components. Because platform specific files inevitably diverge over time and you can't even use things like go to definition with them reliably, this is not my preferred approach and instead I recommend using the built in React Native module called platform. So we get rid of our screen.android component and now there is only one source of truth for everyone called screen.tsx. And for doing platform specific code, we will bring in the platform API from the React Native module. Now this API has an OS property which will point to the string value of the current platform that it is running. For example, it will be iOS on iOS and Android on Android. So we can use that to customize the message that we will show. And here we are showing iOS platform for iOS and Android platform for everyone else. And you can see that based on the devices that we have running, the different text message shows up on the different platforms. Now the platform.os property is great for use with an imperative programming but for people that enjoy a more functional approach there is a different API that you might enjoy called platform.select. The platform.select function takes an object that contains keys pointing to the different platforms and the values are the values that this particular function will return for that platform. So here for iOS it will return iOS user and for Android it will return the string Android user. And here you can see the different messages being displayed on the different devices. Now you can use platform.select wherever you want but the most common use case that I find is providing different style objects for the different platforms. Here for iOS we have a style object where the background color is light sky blue and for Android we have the style object where the background color is spring green. And now if you look at the different devices you can see the different background colors. Join me in the next lesson in this series on React Native. Thank you for watching. Smash that like and subscribe for even more development tips and I will see you in the next one.